Council. This award goes to the Northside Family Wife MCA. Established in Richmond, Virginia on November 11, 1887, the Northside Family YMCA was founded at the historic Ebenezer Baptist Church located at 216 West Lee Street in Richmond's Jackson Ward neighborhood. As the Richmond Colored Young Men Christians Association, where it served as a site for the religious instructions and a gathering place for social events for African Americans. And in 1889, the structure was built for it on the corner of Third and Lee Street, and it later moved from there to 127 West Brooklyn Park Boulevard, and then to its present location at 4207 Oakbrook Road. The nonprofit updated its name, and in 2012 was renamed and changed and changed its name from the then North Richmond YMCA to the present Northside Family YMCA. Committed to community service, children and families, each year the Northside Family YMCA serves more than 3,700 individuals through programs and services that include a preschool and teen center, computer instruction, wellness training, and physical fitness. In delivery of this mission, the Northside Family YMCA MCA partners and collaborates with various schools, nonprofits, government, and local businesses. Now, therefore, Richmond <coughs> City Council and Mayor Dwight C. Jones do hereby officially recognize, honor, and celebrate the Northside Family YMCA on the occasion of its 125th anniversary and thanks its dedicated staff, volunteers, partners, funders, and supporters for their tireless, important, and all the work can help to make our city an even better and safer place. Well, what would Northside be without the Y? Uh, the Y is a uh, long-standing institution in the North Richmond area, and as I look at these very fine young people who are benefiting from the programs of the Y, it says the whole story. This picture says the whole story. And so we want to congratulate you on the work that you've done through the years and hanging in there and being uh, that positive force in the community, uh, providing sports activities, exercise activities, nutritional uh, uh, activities uh, in terms of eating for young people in a safe haven and environment for our young people uh, before and after school. We congratulate you and we hope, we hope that you will continue to do what you are, are doing in Northside. So congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Does my heart good to see everyone involved here, some of the staff at uh, the line, Maryland here in your leadership, and it looks like some of the board members are here as well. So thank you all for your commitment to North Sun. It's really uh, been my pleasure to uh, assist over the years with funding for the Teen Center. Uh, it's extremely important that we have that uh, for you, and would love to hear what you all have to say about what the line means. But I know, uh, Mr. Mayor, in, uh, in response to your question, Northside wouldn't be Northside without the line uh, and the great resources you provide. So thank you so much and congratulations on 125 years. You know, that's quite a legacy. So uh, we thank God for your presence and uh, look forward to hearing what the line means to you.
the next award is an official recognition award presented by the mayor and members of city council. This award is presented to the American Youth Pop Ensemble. Established in 1999, the American Youth Harp Ensemble is a nonprofit musical instrument ensemble program at the Harps Foundation that includes more than 300 students ages 8 to 18 years old. Led by our statistic director, Linnell Edgar Cozia, the American Youth Harp Ensemble is dedicated to community service and mentorship through their hopping in the hospitals and their ambassador programs. They also partner with local nonprofits such as the Boys and Girls Club and other mentorship programs in the community. Their mentoring work includes at risk youth and physically, mentally, or socially disabled, disadvantaged peers. They also perform hundreds of solo and small ensemble concerts in the community each year to bring art and cultural opportunity to diverse communities who may have limited access to the arts. Considered to be one of our nation's leading youth heart, heart group, as a testament to their dedication and hard work, the American Youth Heart Ensemble has been invited to perform at the Lincoln Center for the Performing Arts prestigious Alice Tully Hall in New York City on April the 27th, 2013. One of the foremost concert halls in the world, this invitation is recognized as an extremely high honor and accomplishment. Now, therefore, Richmond City Council and Mayor Y.C. Jones do hereby officially recognize, honor, and celebrate the American Youth Heart Ensemble and the store of Richmond Jones Distinguished Artistic Accomplishment Award on behalf of Richmond Proud, Proud Residents. Mr. Clerk, can we read all three and bring everybody else to please? The next award goes to the Virginia Foresters. Established in 2008, Virginia Foster's is a local ensemble program at the Academy of Music, classically based music school in Richmond, Virginia, that includes 70 students aged 8 to 18 years old. Again, led by artist director, artistic director Linnell Edgar Cozia. Cozia, the Virginia Foster's ensemble is dedicated to community service and mentorship programs. Throughout the year, Virginia Foresters partners with local nonprofit organizations such as Boys and Girls Club and other mentorship programs in the community. On behalf of at risk, at risk youth and physically, mentally, and socially disadvantaged peers, they also perform hundreds of solo and small ensemble concerts in the community each year to bring arts and cultural opportunities to diverse communities who may have limited access to the arts. Testament to their dedication, repertoire, skill, and hard work, Virginia Course was on song has been invited to perform at the Lincoln Center for the Performing Arts, prestigious Alice Tooley Hall in New York City on April the 27, 2013. One of the foremost concert halls in the world, this invitation is recognized as an extremely high honor and accomplishment. Now, therefore, Richmond City Council and Mayor Pricey Jones, who hereby officially recognize honor and celebrate the Virginia Corps and bestow upon them the Richmond Joint Distinguished Artistic Accomplishment Award on behalf of Richmond Proud residents. And the last award goes to the St. Bridge from St. Bridget Music Ministry. Established in 2010, the St. Bridget Music Ministries Parish Girl Choir and Parish Board Choir are vocal ensemble ministries of the St. Bridget Catholic Church in Richmond, Virginia. They include 49 students, 38 girls and 11 boys, respectively, aged 7 to 13 years old. Performing jazzy, jazzy children choir selections, chant in 19th century in anthems in Latin at the local and national level, the Bridget Music Ministry and the St. Bridget Parish Girl Choir and the Parish Boys Choir Ensemble performed monthly from September through April for masses at the St. Bridges Catholic Church and annually for events and liturgies at cathedrals at the Sacred Heart in Richmond and the Little Sisters of the Poor. They have also performed at the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts in Washington, D.C. Led by Director Alan Bean, the St. Bridges Music Ministry Parish Girl Choir and Boys 
and Paris Boys Choir Ensemble has been heralded and acclaimed for their repertoire, skills, and achievements as a testament to their dedication and hard work. The Bridget Music Ministry Parish Girls Choir and Parish Boys Choir Ensemble has been invited to perform at the Lincoln Center for the Performance Arts prestigious Alice Tully Hall in New York City on April the 27th, 2013. One of the most famous, one of the most foremost concert halls in the world, this invitation is recognized as extremely high honor and accomplishments. Now, therefore, the Richmond City Council and Mayor Y.C. Jones do, do officially recognize, honor, and celebrate the St. Bridget Music Ministry and its St. Bridget Parish Girls Choir and Parish Boys Choir ensembles and bestow upon them the Richmond Joint Distinguished Artistic Accomplishment Award on behalf of Richmond's proud residents. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Uh, April of 2013, April 27, 2013, is going to be a great day for Richmond Pride, not only here but in New York City, as the choristers, the harp ensemble, and the parish boys and girls choirs all perform at the Lincoln Center, which is just an incredible achievement. I think you all should be incredibly proud of yourselves. Are there parents in the audience? Could you all please stand? <laughs> President, those are all of the 
you a warrant for the presentations for this evening. Thank you, Mr. Burke, for sending me a review of the list of amendments to tonight's agenda and an agenda review. Item number two, ordinance number 2012-168, amended and continued to December the 10th. Item number three. One second. One second, sorry, Mr. Brooks. Before um, we leave here, before you all leave, I believe we have somebody from, um, from Hanover County on the Board of Supervisors. Um, Angela, Angela, this lawsuit. It's okay. <laughs> Kelly Rizek, who is a newly new person on the Hanover Board of Supervisors, and I serve with her on a lot of different commissions, and she's doing a really great job for the county and for the region, and I want to thank you, and thank you for coming, and congratulations on your song. Thank you. This paper is the amended agendas before you. 